This awesome driving game you're seeing right now is a browser game. It pushes the boundaries of what is possible in a browser and it's called Slow Roads. It's a brand new project and it's actually kind of an artistic project which is designed to push the boundaries of browsers and also be a very relaxing driving simulator. Now there's so many features and we're in an electric roadster and it really does Whoa, feel pretty good. The physics are great. Graphically, it is amazing. There are quite a few features and lots more features to come and it's completely free. There aren't even ads on the website. Now, go and check it out from the link in the description. You can even donate to the artist. Now, I think actually we're in the UK because the, whoa, the uh, road signs and the road markings look like they're British road markings. So yeah, here we go. I'm at ultra graphic settings. It is running, I mean, super silky smooth. Oh yeah, amazing. And this thing really does shift. Ooh, brake, 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 brake. So, what are all the different options we can do? Well, down the bottom left, there's different um, road types. So we can go from hills to off-world, apply changes. What is the off-world? I don't know. Oh, oh, we're like on Mars. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we've got a cruise control here. So we set to set it to 60, there we go. Um, road complexity you can change from casual, hard um, and normal. So let's go to casual, apply changes. What happens if we do casual? Will it be nice and straight and long? Yes, I think they will. How fast can the cruise control take us up to? 100? Here we go. Yeah, look. The roads are pretty flat and curvy. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to take the cruise control off. Let's see how fast we can go. Go, go, go! Oh, awesome. Okay, let's head back to the hills, and then I'll show you some of the, like, weather effects. Or it's actually not weather. Oh, yeah, it is weather. It's seasons. So here we go. Uh, we can go to an autumn sunset. Oh, look at that. We've got headlights, um, which is... No, they just turn on automatically. Oh, no, toggle headlights, H. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Uh, what are the other... Keys. So we've got sticky steer, which I think just means the steering wheel will stay in one position. We've got boost acceleration, which is double tap W or shift. There you go, shift. Yeah. Hyperdrive. Amazing. And anything else I've missed? No, we've got auto drive. I can put that on for now. Now, weather. There's snowy weather. Lovely. Daytime and sunset in the snow weather. Spring. Oh, all the flowers. Beautiful. Summer? Yeah, I like spring. Should we have a spring morning? Yeah, awesome. Okay, now there are other vehicles as well. We've got a bike, which looks like, I don't know. Oh, I, I forget those names of those things, those, those bikes which um, like have a gyroscope in them so you can kind of lean over and not crash. Um, and they've also got a cabin, which is pretty cool. And a coach. Let's click to that. Boost mode in the coach. Awesome. So the developer of this recommends you put some music on in the background, have a nice relaxing drive. And for me, as a simulation gaming player, I am really interested to see what this brings to the simulation genre in the future. Could we have simulator games in a browser, like proper 3D simulation games? I think it's possible. Now in the future, there's gonna be support for controllers and wheels. There's gonna be more locations, especially on the off-road side, uh, more vehicle types, improved weather effects, so things like rain, snow, fog, and wind. Oh, Improved lighting and shadows, a competitive mode with global leaderboards for furthest distance and fastest um, times and miles, stuff like that. Uh, further optimizations for lower end systems. I have a quite good spec system here. Um, and I'm using Opera GX, by the way. Um, and improved environmental detail and affects buildings, structures, and cows, they say. So there may be like animals in the fields. But look at that. How awesome does that look? Yeah, I mean, we've actually got a map down here, just a little small map. So yeah, this is awesome. It's completely free. I don't usually look at browser games, but I saw this and I had to try it out. Now, I think to, fu to finish off, we need to try the motorbike on a difficult road. Whoa! We're crashing off everywhere in the coach. There you go. There's the bike. Um, cycle timer. Oh, it can do like day and night cycle, I guess. Right, so I want the difficult roads. Hard. Here we go. Let's try this for a finale. Oh, it's beautiful. It really does remind me of TT, this, um, the TT motorbiking games. All right. This is just the kind of scenery they have in the Isle of Man. Now, this, is, this thing's fast. Holy moly. Yeah, with the uh, boost mode, it just goes crazy. Whoa. 
Whoa! Oh, off road, yeah. Try and jump. Come on, baby. Come on. No, I don't want to reset. I want to jump. I want to jump. Back onto the road. Yay! Ah. Oh. Well, there we go. That is Slow Roads, a really awesome browser game that's totally free. You can go and check it out right now from the link in the description. If you want to see my latest video on Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, click the video on screen right now. It's my 10 year anniversary special of that game. Thank you to my Ultra Sim fan, Omo Mandy. They support me on the YouTube membership. So you can get a YouTube membership for as little as $1.99 per month, which gives you access to exclusive videos as well as many other perks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.